Google was really the tool that was a star for us. So I'll say a little more about that now. If we can move on to the next slide. Um, and please feel free to interrupt me at any point if you have questions. Um, so Wufu, I guess first let me ask, is anyone in the room familiar with Wufu or have you heard of it? OK, it's not too well. That's good. Um, so we love Wufu because first of all, it was low cost. Um, and for those of you who aren't familiar with it, it's by the people behind SurveyMonkey. Um, and it's similarly user friendly, which is great because I don't, I'm not a tech person and I was the person kind of driving this piece of it. Um, so what we did with Wufu is using it, um, we created various forms, like very short, concise forms uh, that a navigator could fill out on their tablet to record an interaction with a consumer in the field. It happened in real time, it was very quick, it was very simple. Um, so there were, we designed a couple of different forms that they could lock, jump onto depending on the interaction. So for example, um, if they're having a one-on-one -on -one interaction with an individual, it was a longer conversation and they could capture more detailed information, we wanted them to fill out that form um, because there they could capture age information, which we think is important because as you know, um, the young and sensible age group, that age 19 to 34, was particularly coveted. Um, so we wanted to see how we were doing with that demographic. Uh, they were able to capture gender information, um, the preferred language in which the person preferred outreach interactions, um, and they could also capture the location and the nature of the contact, which is great. We wanted to know, you know, are these contacts taking place on the street corner with a flyer, are people calling your office, are people showing up, what does it look like? Um, there was another form where a navigator could capture an event. So obviously if you're interacting with a group of people of this size, you can't capture individual level data. Um, so on a single form, they were able to capture you know, the number of people in attendance who you did your outreach to. Um, and they were also able to capture details about the event, like the time, the location, who did you coordinate this in partnership with, um, what was the nature of the event. And then finally, they were able to capture interactions with stakeholders. And we considered a stakeholder somebody like a pastor or a teacher or a business owner, um, essentially someone who could give you access to more people who could eventually enroll. Um, and so, you know, through this form, we were able to find out how are you leveraging this contact? Did you just give this person flyers to hand out on your behalf? Did they invite you to come and give a presentation at church on Sunday? What did that look like? So we can move on to the next form. And this is just, I wanted um, just to take a little excerpt of what a form looked like. So you can see here, like very elementary. Um, and this was the form for an individual contact. Um, and another great thing about Wubu is as these entries were happening, I was able to see what was going on in real time from my desk. So day to day, I could see activity in the field as it was happening. Um, so we can move on to the next slide. Um, so I just want to kind of say a quick word about why this was so important to us. But before I do that, um, I did, you know, I started off talking about how we were sort of unclear of what tools the state of Illinois would provide us to capture this stuff. Um, so I want to share with you that the state never really got around to providing any tool for us to collect or store this data. So this really ended up being a godsend because we thought we would eventually get something that didn't happen. Um, and I don't want to imply that they prompt over promise because they didn't, it was just sort of vague. Um, so what they, the data they did collect from our navigators was very, very basic and it was important. It was the information the federal government wanted to know, um, but it was a very narrow list of data. Um, so they essentially just wanted our navigators to tell them how many consumers did you interact with and how many people did you enroll? I mean, that was really the gist of what they wanted to know. Um, but we thought there was so much more to the story, so much more that needed to be captured. Um, and it missed a lot of the very important hard work that our navigators were doing on the ground because you could have tons of interactions with tons of people, particularly in these communities where people are tough to reach, um, and never yield an enrollment out of it. 